Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Uncle Larry, and there's no Joe Bump today. It's just me doing a chilling and grilling, and we are making soup, 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 and it's chicken noodle soup. And this a is classic. like, huh? A classic. Yeah, this is my wife's recipe, and uh, I think I ate it once. I'm not positive. What? What's that look for? Ate it once. It's very good, and there's a lot of people that rave about this soup. She likes to give it out when people are sick. <laughs> it works. Makes it feel better. Gets them better, yes. Um, seems like there's a lot of ingredients. It, again, it just looks that way. There are a lot of things in it, but it's not that bad. It comes together really fast. So we have some extra virgin olive oil. We're going to need flour, um, carrots, celery, some garlic, a medium onion it calls for, but this is rather large. I don't know if we're using the whole thing or not. We have about two and a half pounds of chicken. Uh, it's like 2.62 or something like that, but it doesn't matter. Um, but it's bone in, which makes yeah, it Yeah, there's bone in there too. Um, water you're going to need, chicken stock, salt, pepper, oregano, red pepper flakes, and then we have parsley, bay, rosemary, and thyme. Bay leaves. I don't remember that in my Scott real fair. There was no sage in this recipe. Um, and then of course you have some egg noodles, which are some fine egg noodles. And that's basically it. Uh, there's going to be some chopping that has to get done. Hopefully my uh, sous chef will do that for me over there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, first thing I think we want to do is, uh, I think, brown the chicken, if I'm correct, right? You are correct. She'll be telling me everything to do, kind of how it is usually. And you like it. <laughs> That's a familiar pot. Yeah, there's about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil on there. You want to get it nice and hot. In the meantime, when we get the chicken, get that ready to brown the outside of it. All right, so now it's nice and hot. I'm going to... Put my chicken in there, skin side down, guys. What? Skin side down, guys. And let that uh, let that brown. Watch out for that oil don't pop you in the eye, Tom. I'm a decent way back. How long does this take? That takes a good five ten minutes. Five ten, five about five ten minutes. Well, what exactly are you trying to do? You put it skin side down, but then what? I'm going to let it brown, but then I'm going to kind of move it all over to get it all brown all over. Oh, okay. So you're browning the chicken. But we're not cooking it all the way, guys. We're only letting it get brown on the outside. Ah. In the meantime, you can chop vegetables. In the meantime, you can chop some vegetables up. You mean like those? Yep. Chop, chop. Or those? Yep. See how busy I've been? A lot of stuff can chop. They're making jokes about rosemary. I just want to tell you guys that's where you're going to look for when you want to cook the chicken. That is brown. Right? I don't know what you just said. Oh, I know. You talked really fast and you were talking just then, Tom. He was making jokes that we were saying while well, we were making jokes about rosemary. Oh. This is what the chicken wants to look like. Yeah, that's what you want it to look like. And it smells like chicken. Okay. Smells good. So the chicken is done, guys. Well, it's brown. Well, not yet. It's not cooked. You can't eat this. But it's done for now. Ouch! Careful. It burns us. Okay, so you can just put that on your plate, and then... Put it on the pot. And, yes. She, uh, you and your ground goodness. That's ground goodness. <laughs> okay, so I'm just, put, just put the chicken aside for now, guys. We'll get back to the chicken in a minute. So for now, you're going to take all your vegetables, and then what we have here is what? How many carrots? It's, it was supposed to be two, but we had some extra, some left over. And how much so celery? It's two stalks of celery, about three three carrots, and right. half of a large onion. Get them in there, and then half of that large onion that we had, or a medium onion, all of it, of would be good. Um, and we're going to we're going to cook them for about five minutes, guys. Come on. Yeah, we're going to get that with all that nice goodness that's on the bottom there, the brown goodness that I like to talk about after I put the vegetables in, not before. But that's just me. But you can see it better before. Yeah. So we're going to let them go. We're going to season that with some salt and pepper. And you can always add, you can't take away. That's right. And there, we're, there we are, guys. We're going to let them go, like I said, for about five minutes. 
and then we'll go to the next step. It's been five minutes. Yes, so your next step, guys, now is to take your garlic, which is about three to four cloves of minced garlic. And then you put that in there, get that all mixed up in there, and let that go for about a minute. Just a minute. Ooh, man, the smell just changed. Smells like garlic? That's garlic vegetables, which is absolutely goodness. Ooh. Don't they look good, Tom? I'd say so. So you're gonna wanna mix them up the entire time or like just some of it and then let it sit and then mix huh? it up again? Say or? what? I can't understand a word you said. I, I understood. Did you? Well, you speak Thomas, I don't. I do speak Thomas. I think you need to clean your ears out. <laughs> no, you don't have to keep mixing it. Is that what you were asking? Yes. No, you don't have to keep mixing it. You just wanna, but I mean, it was clumpy garlic, so you wanna spread it all around in there, you know? So you did hear me. Yeah, I did. I just ignore you most of the time. But the last thing you want is the garlic to burn. Right. This garlic is very thick. Right, so in that case, every once in a while, you just don't let it sit there. Move it around. It's been about a minute. Huh? It's been about a minute. Okay, it's been, exactly it's been about a minute. a minute, guys. So now you're going to take your flour, which, if I remember correctly, it was two tablespoons. And we're going to put that in there, and we're going to mix that all up. And that, now that you do want to do the same thing. You kind of want to mix it up. Now, what is it now, Diana? You, we are cooking it, but we're not, we're not burning it. it. We're not browning it. But we don't want it to taste like raw flour. Right. So you, you, you skip. Now you can tell, like this is just how I make my roux too. Exactly. When I'm when I'm making my, uh, well, we are making a roux. Mm -hmm. But this is how when my when I do my. Um, my chicken pot pie, my delicious, world's famous it's awesome. in this household. It is the best chicken, chicken pot pie. It is. It's absolutely amazing. I agree. Okay, so we have that mixed up pretty good right now. It looks good to me. And now, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to add our chicken stock. Now, we're going to put four cups, but we're just going to put two cups in here first. So why is that? I'm, I don't, because that's what I was told. Well, you don't want the flour to clump up. Yeah, you don't want the flour so to clump up, so I'm going to stir smooth. it till it's what? Smooth? smooth. Till it's smooth. smooth. And I'm getting that goodness off the bottom in case you guys can't hear me scraping that off the bottom. Oh, we can hear it. Because I want, I want that off the bottom. All of a sudden, I got the urge that I have to pee for some reason. I mean, that's normal for you. <laughs> it's called old... Old bladder prostate, Tom. Is that what you're saying? Just you. Oh. Anyway, guys, so we're gonna do that and the carrot on the side of the pot is out of the liquid. Oh, it's hiding. It's hiding. There's all, you always try to get these stragglers try to take off. I'm waiting for the other two cups to get. There we go. Now we can we can add the other two cups. So there's a total of four cups of chicken stock. Now we use pre-made chicken stock that we buy because that's the easiest thing to do. You can make your own chicken stock if you want to. But we don't. Is it chicken stock or chicken broth, or is there a difference? Is that what is that? Chicken it's broth. Broth. Excuse uh, to me. Be honest, I don't know what the stock, what the difference is. Either do I. It tastes good. That's yeah, what it matters. tastes good. That's all that matters. Now we want to add our water too, right? Yeah. And this is a cup of H two O. Water. When we add the noodles, it'll absorb some of the liquid. Yes. We don't want it to be too salty. Now here's going to be the hard part, guys, because uh, I didn't memorize all the ingredients that I was putting in here. <laughs> So, uh, is Tom gonna post it? Tablespoon of parsley. I hope so. A single bay leaf. Pinch of red pepper. Ooh, uh, uh, teaspoon of thyme. Teaspoon of thyme. Like a half a teaspoon of dried rosemary. What was the oregano? I don't remember the oregano. I think the, the oregano was a teaspoon. Well, I'll tell you exactly what we have. We have three quarter teaspoon of thyme. We have. We have. <laughs> A half teaspoon of rosemary, a bay leaf, a teaspoon of dried oregano, a pinch of red paper, pepper flakes, and that's, it. and that's it. That's what we just put in there. Did you get all that, Tom? Kind of. Tom, you're gonna post that, right? If I get a picture of it, then probably. Yeah, well you could just take her recipe that she made. And now this is your creation, right? I took a recipe that I found and I adapted it. Right, which is means it makes it your creation yes. then, yeah. Often that's what we, we do in this household. We, we, we um, take a recipe and we kind of 
change it to uh, make tweak it ours. It. Yeah. Make it to something you like. So what we want, yeah, the way else. we want to make it. Um, and that's the fun thing about cooking. Now, now you want to explain to the people that you were saying off camera now. The great thing about making soup is that your measurements don't have to be exact. Right. You can a little if you want a little bit more of this a little bit less of that maybe maybe you only had one carrot in there in your refrigerator maybe you only had a little bit of celery or maybe you have more celery you like celery you want to put more celery in maybe you have more onion you want or to maybe some zucchini maybe not so much chicken anyway we want to put a lid on this now right you do and you can probably turn it up until it begins to simmer and then you get yeah, we'll turn it up a little bit to no, right there medium high. medium high what was the heat at before it was at medium. Ah. Yeah, I mean, when it got really, because at first I had it on high, we had to turn it down because you don't want the oil to burn because it tastes funky when olive oil starts burning. Um, yeah, so we're going to let that come to a boil. And are we letting it simmer at that point or are we putting the chicken we're in? We're going to put the chicken back in. We're going to put the chicken back in when that turns up to a boil. So we're going to get that bath nice and hot for that chicken so we can cook the chicken all the way because it is not cooked all the way now. And that'll be the next step. So guys, it's boiling now. So now we want to add or put our big old juicy chicken boobies back in. Like you that. You could have said that any other way. Well, they're chicken breasts. Get them in there. Put the juice from the plate in too. And the juice from the plate. Okay, the only thing is, is like this one breast doesn't go all the way under because it's... But it'll be okay, guys, because it's gonna. We gotta bring it back to a boil now. So, do I put the lid on? Well, it's almost boiling already. Yeah, it won't take long to come back. Do I want the lid on at this point or no? Uh, yeah, because you don't want the water to evaporate away. What was that? Something, something crashed. It's okay. Nothing got hurt. All right, so I'm gonna put this in and I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, right? Yeah. About to medium. Well, let it come back. It's back to a simmer. It's back. Said? It's back to a boil. Yeah. Put it on medium and then you can adjust it to make sure it's not burning on the bottom. Let it, See? yeah, good, perfect. And just, we're gonna let that go for- About 25 minutes. About 25 minutes, guys. Just, just make sure that, you know, it doesn't come to a big boil and you wanna just turn your heat down a little nice bit. Nice little simmer. Nice little simmer. When you take the chicken breasts apart, if they're not done yet, you put them back. Okay, you just need to simmer down. I got it. 25 minutes. 25. So the 25 minutes is up now, guys. And one of the things I wanna tell you about 10 minutes, almost 10 minutes ago is what is I what I did is I flipped the chicken over in there while it was going, right? And sense. as you can see, I turned it down a little bit, probably a little bit too much, um, but it's still simmering. So now I'm gonna take the chicken out of here. Did you grab a clean plate? Yes. Good. You wanna put this on a clean plate, plate, get rid of that other plate that you had. That had raw chicken on it. Yes. And we're gonna put these on the plate like that. Get the vegetables off of there. Now, these did touch raw chicken too, but I've had these in boiling, in the boiling uh, liquid. So we're okay in that respect. And then you wanna, um, now, oh, where'd the noodles go? Somebody stole the noodles. Ah, okay. oh, that's using your noodle. I am corny. Alright, so, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put about half of this bag in there. Oops. For a few handfuls. My, oh. You can spill them just everywhere. I'm going to just do a little bit more because it's not quite half. I'd say that looks about right. Doesn't it? Sure. Yeah. You can put more or less depending on what you want. I'm gonna mix that doesn't that. look like very much. It doesn't? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like that much, does it? It expands a lot. But it expands a lot. It absorbs some of that liquid in there. And we're gonna leave this with the lid off now, guys. But we want I'm gonna turn this up just a tiny bit because we do want it to simmer. It just needs a little bit. So I'm on like medium low. Low medium. Medium low. Sure. Oh, if you want to say that. We're going to let this cool off until the point that we can actually start cutting this up or shred it. Okay, which should be probably about 10 minutes. Great. Now the chicken uh, wasn't quite all the way done, as, as you can see when I started cutting into it, right? So I got out my meat thermometer and checked it. It was close, but it wasn't done. This was the extra big breast. So we put that back into the pot 
and we let that get up to the temperature. The other one was well done. Um, I think it was like 180 or something like that, but that's fine because it stays juicy anyway. Um, in the meantime, you turn your pot off, right? And then you want to fish this, this leaf out right here, the bay leaf, because nobody needs to be eating that. You can actually choke on something like that. So get that out of your pot. This is what we have with the liquid. Now, if it doesn't seem like if it's enough liquid, you can just add some more chicken stock to it. And I think my wife said that she would add more in there. So I'm going to get our chicken stock and just pour some in there. Now I'm probably only going to pour what, about half a cup you think? Maybe a cup. Or a cup, that much, really? No. So I'm just going to pour some in there. You know what I've heard? Is that good? That. A little bit more than that? What did you hear, Tom? I've heard there's a nice thing about soup is that you can just sort of estimate some things. You could, yeah, that's the funny thing about this stuff is that you could do that. And now I'm going to mix it up real good and we're going to turn it up. We're going to turn the flame on a little bit more just to, because now we just added some cold chicken uh, stock and not stock broth in there. I don't want to say the wrong thing because you know how I am. I mess everything up and then I get yelled at by people. I'm people might be. Yeah, I don't know either. You usually say that I mess everything up, though. You don't mess anything up, Tom. You're perfect. Aww, Who good. are you? Just say it how it is, Tom. So here you go, guys. This is only the one breast now of the uh, of the chicken that's all shredded up. So I'm going to put that in there. Got to be careful. You don't want to splash yourself. Get that in there going like, nice and good. And you want to take the chick chicken skin off. You don't want to put that in here, right? We have that over here on the plate. As you can see, it's on that plate right there. And then I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. And we have actually more chicken, because that's only one of the breasts. We have the other... It's about one and a half. Well, one and a half, yeah, because the other one, we already had some pieces cut off of that. So, I'm gonna let that go for a little bit and shred the rest of it, and we're just about done. All right, guys, get to do the taste test now. Hot soup. Hot soup. That's hot. Mm-mm-mm. But oh, so good. Guys, I didn't put that much in my bowl because I don't I'm going to have a little bit right now. My wife has made this for some people when they got sick and stuff. Like I know Jeff and Terry, when they had uh, COVID last year, she made a big pot, took it over there. It's that time of the year also. It's, um, it's cold, you know, getting cold outside for a lot of people. If you get a little sniffles or anything like that or sick, this is the soup to have. It's delicious. It's not that hard to make. Make a big old pot of it. Uh, I, I believe, can you freeze this? Yeah. You can freeze it. Um, it lasts for a long time. It's delicious. So try it out. It's a great recipe. I told my wife a long time ago she should be canning this stuff and selling it, but you know, you know how people are. Well, until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up, relax. I'll meet you at the lounge.